In this video, I'll show you the basics of jQuery widgets, what they are, and how you can insert them into your own website using Dreamweaver. So jQuery is a JavaScript-based language for writing user interface elements for web pages. Some examples of jQuery user interfaces are an accordion, which is a set of content sections that opens and closes like an accordion. You can also do other interesting stuff with jQuery, like if you have a contact form, you can add an interactive calendar. You can also do interactive menus using jQuery. There are some other things you can do, like sliders. and you can create tabbed content. The good thing about jQuery and Dreamweaver is that you don't need to know how to write JavaScript. We're going to use tabs as an example and insert them into a blank web page in Dreamweaver. So I've prepared a very simple web page here with a header, left navigation, content, and footer. This is my content area. And I'm going to insert jQuery tabs here. So I clear out my content. Go to Insert, jQuery UI. And all those interface elements that I just showed you as examples are available here. I'm going to choose Tabs. Now, as soon as I add tabs, I see the tabbed content appear in my page. What it really is, is just a collection of divs. You know, as you can see, tabs 1, tabs 2, tabs 3, they're, they're all just divs. But using the power of JavaScript and CSS, they have been styled and stacked to look like tabs. So when I go to Live View, here's what they look like and you can just switch from one tab to the other. Now all this happens behind the scenes and we don't need to know how to write JavaScript. All we need to know is how do we customize our tabs once we've added them. So I'm gonna turn off Live View and to change the options of your jQuery widget, which is this interactive portion that we just added, it's called a widget, the way to change it is to click on the blue label and go down to the Properties Inspector. Here, I can change the overall ID of the tabs. So let's say if I had more than one widget on the same page, I could give them unique names. I could add more tabs or I could remove tabs. I could make the tabs collapsible so that they can be completely collapsed when they're not being used. And there are other options that I can set. If I want the tabs to show up on a mouse over instead of on a click, which is what I have here, I can go back to the tabs options and change the event to mouse over. And now, as soon as I mouse over them, they change to the different tabs. So it's really easy to insert widgets like this and to make changes to them. Now to customize these with your own content, all you do is go in and replace the names, type in some content, add images, whatever you need to do to customize the tabs to suit your page, you can do it. Because these are just content divs, you can add any kind of content into your tabs. To change the content of each tab, you can just replace the content Now to edit the second and third tabs which are not currently active, 
I just click on the eye icon and then I can edit the content of that tab back to live view and there you go now if I want to change the styles I like the fonts colors and uh, width height any kind of other options I need to style these tabs myself so each widget that you add comes with its own CSS file and as soon as you add it you can see the tabs to all the JavaScript files and the CSS files that this widget is using up here so I go to the tabs CSS find the styles that I need to change and then I change them So for example, I click on the main div containing all the tabs and in the CSS designer I see that its styles are coming from this file and these are all the different CSS rules that have been specified for it. So for example, if I want to change the background of each of these tab panels, I would go to the CSS selector for UI tabs panel. pick a different background color, hit enter, and there you go. So I can customize the appearance of my tabs in this way. And when you're done, you save all the files. If this is the first time you're saving this HTML page, Dreamweaver will show you a pop-up asking you if you want to copy dependent files. By dependent files, it means all of these CSS and JavaScript files that magically appeared the moment we added our tabs widget. So by saying copy dependent files it brings all these files into your site folder and there you have them. Since I had already saved this HTML page with the header and everything before it didn't ask me this time. But make sure that before you upload your site all your dependent files are in place and make sure to upload them along with your HTML and CSS files. So go ahead and try out the jQuery widgets in Dreamweaver. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can take some of these widgets and really integrate them into your page.